as a snow operator, we clean six to eight inches from the uh, markers uh, on an ongoing basis. Mm -hmm. Over 33 years doing snow removal, I've never had any damage to my equipment from the metal sleeve supports mm -hmm. or have heard of any um, injury. And the nice thing about it is uh, if we hit a metal marker, it bends flat to the ground and we can pull it back up straight, put a new sleeve on it, and, and there's no um, danger about leaving uh, residual right. on people's lawns uh, that they're going to could find uh, in a really unfortunate way in the spring. The fiberglass rods are different from what you've used previously, which is the steel with the plastic around it, right? Correct. Seemed like a good idea. They'll never have to be straightened, which is a big job each spring. Mm -hmm. um, they're lighter to work with. Uh, however, they don't go into the ground very well. Okay. So once they hit a rock, they end up being crooked or they are left extending beyond the um, four foot sleeve. Now this one I'm showing you here is the way that they splinter when they're broken. Mm -hmm. If I run over a fiberglass rod uh, with the snow blower, they'll, they'll break, they'll leave the 12 foot inch pieces into the ground. Mm -hmm. These splinters will be at around, and it could be hidden in the grass, and they're going to be there for years to come. The average snow... Because you can't extract them because the ground... The ground's frozen, and, and usually they'll get forgotten in the spring, which is what really makes these things um, like landmines. What's going to happen to these projectiles that, you know, 12 inches in the lawns? As years go by, it's only going to get 5,000 the first year, 10,000 the next, 15,000. It's There is no real problem with the metal rebar. It's the only product that can bend and be re-straightened. It's reusable. Yes. And it's been proven over 25 years. They claim it was damaging the city's equipment. Mm -hmm. But I Is think that it, true? Well, like I said, 33 years of doing snow blowing myself. We come six to eight inches from these, these markers day in and day out. We have a 5% knockdown mm -hmm. and I've never had any damage to any of my equipment. I've had the inconvenience of having to stop my machine, mm -hmm. pull out a bent, bent rebar around the auger, if it's bent damage, I put it in the tractor. If it's, if it's just in the ground, I'll straighten it back up. Right. Strew put a new sleeve on it and away we go.